Yo, 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 you guys, it's Dr. Tunis back once again, and we have a new episode of Supergirl. This episode's title is Call to Action. If y'all dig in the content, go ahead and hit your boy with a like, comment, and subscribe, because it means so much, and we'll jump right into this, well, right now. The episode opens with an alien human couple minding their business, and then them being attacked by an unknown group. They all have the same mask as the Agent of Liberty, really. And then Manchester Black jumps in and starts like trying to save them. Unfortunately, he falls victim to them and then Supergirl comes and saves him. The two chatted up for a second. Supergirl asks, who is the agent of Liberty? And he just says, we all are. Then after he answers, a bunch of papers fall down and it turns out to be the agent of Liberty's manifesto. Lena is running tests on a heart and we learn that she's trying to cure cancer. The liaison to the president, AKA Colonel Haley, want Supergirl and Director Danvers to stop going and trying to stop any of the Agent of Liberty stuff because she doesn't view it as a high priority. They're not viewed as a terror group quite yet. She says, we have other things to do. If you want to help with that, you need to join the, um, the police force. Otherwise, you're gonna stay behind here. But Director Danvers and Supergirl end up having a conversation with Brainy. And Brainy doesn't get it and he's very slow to, to the come up. They eventually help him understand to do this in secrecy. Ben is talking to his wife and then his kid sees that he's on TV and calls him all into the room and they see that Ben has been called to talk about this little manifesto. Lena is basically trying to make James Olsen do an interview he doesn't really wanna do and he's trying to meet with some of the agents of Liberty to meet the big boss at the same time as his interview. And Lena wants him to be safe but she's trying to force him to do it so she pulls rank on him, knowing that they're in a relationship and is like, look, as your boss, you have an interview to do. Make it happen, chop, chop. Now how you feel about that? And I was like, oh, you didn't have to do all that, Lena. That wasn't cool. I mean, you fine and all, but you didn't do all that. John Jones invites Manchester Black to, I guess, everybody's Thanksgiving, you know, Kara Jabbers and, you know, Director Danvers Thanksgiving. And he's like, I'll think about it. And when, John John leaves Manchester's apartment. We see that he has the police officer that was tied to Fiona in his bathroom and he's torturing him to get information. James is talking to Kara about what happened with him and Lena and she offers that she and Nia will do it, but James like, you know, Nia, Nia Nall, the one who's asleep. And we see that she's asleep and we learn that she has narcolepsy. James ends up going to the meeting despite what Lena wants and Lena is trying to cure cancer. And while she's doing this, she learns that one of her subjects just nothing worked with it. It just kind of stays stationary. Then she learns she made the heart that she tested this on invincible. Nia and Kara get to this interview. Then when it's Kara's time to go out, she learns that Ben Lockwood is her opponent to interview against. James talks to this agent of liberty and learns that they consider themselves all agent of liberty and he won't be able to talk to the big boss. And we see that the agent he's talking to was doing something weird, looking at certain houses, has his dog barking. That same dog was barking at one of the aliens who had an inhibitor on. So they trained these dogs to be able to see or to be able to smell aliens. Manchester is still trying to get information out of police officer. And then Ben Lockwood and car drivers end up going head to head but it's ended with Ben Lockwood getting the last word in and he had a lot of people cheering. Our heroes are having Thanksgiving and somehow we get on the subject of aliens versus humans and how they're both resilient. But Lena's like, what if we can level the playing field so that humans can be on the same level as aliens? And then, they're, um, then everybody else is like, well, you know, how do you decide who gets what powers? And Lena's like, only the good guys with the powers. And they're like, who are the good guys? Blase, blase, blase. And she's just kind of like, okay, well, let me just kind of fall back. You know, she still has her, her methodology of how she's going to do things because she's really on the verge of creating metas for this world, like actually manufacturing metas for real. Brainy ends up bringing one of the Agent of Liberty's masks and they learn that the little lenses they have in the eye part can see infrared. And then when they put it up to the window, they're able to see that some of the homes are marked A. A for alien. They realize the manifesto which says, um, Twilight's last gleaming, that's when they're going to attack. They only have 20 minutes before all the agents of Liberty are about to go ham. Before James can go to stop the agent 
that he actually spoke with, Lena confesses to him that she protected him from going to jail. And James is like, what? She's like, yes, I will do it again in a heartbeat because I will always protect anybody I love. And James is just like, if that's love, I don't think I want any part of it. And I hope they get this, this little relationship fixed because I like the pairing of Lena Luthor and James Olsen. Now, both sides are gearing up for a fight. You know, Brandy's trying to erase one of the A's off a building. Of course, he, the um, Agents of Liberty try to jump him. But you know, Brainy ain't no, he ain't weak, weak, not to some regular schmegula human. So he ends up masterfully dodging all their attacks and using physics so that they can hurt themselves. And he knocks them all out. Manchester resorts to violence, and I can't say he's wrong, but I mean, it's like, uh, it's like, uh, you kind of don't, do I just fight him and just start, don't suit him, but he did it anyway. A father is attacked in front of his daughter. They throw the father up against the glass. I think it's like a, um, um, some sort of lizard. The little girls, like, talk to lizard. Spike, help us. Emma, like, what's Spike about to do? So Spike turns out to be a dragon, I guess an alien dragon, and goes ham on them, and then starts going ham on the city. And then it's a literal battle between Fire and Ice. Supergirl tries to fight the dragon. The dragon has that heat. Unfortunately, Kara Davis does not have it all. And then she ends up calming the dragon down, saying that you protected your family, they are safe. And then the dragon calms down and turns back into like a lizard, and everything was cool. Colonel Haley commands Supergirl and Director Danvers, but she pulls Danvers to the side and is like, look, I gave you just enough room so that if you were to fail, you would fail, but I knew what was going on. Don't think I don't know what's going on in this precinct, understand that. And Director Danvers is like, look, I'm always gonna make the right decision to try to help, so if you got a court martial me, do what you gotta do, babes. Ben Lockwood ends up getting a show after all this nonsense. Kara, John Jones, and Director Danvers end up talking a little bit and they talk about Nia's narcolepsy and how she lied to um, Kara's mom about you know having a doctor even though she didn't have a doctor. They talk about a few other things within the city. James goes to talk to the agent of Liberty he spoke to, and that agent's like, I can get you a, a meeting with the higher ups or at least some of the other higher ups. And he's like, when? And then of course, it's a trap. He gets kidnapped, he's like, now. Lena wants to move forward with her experiments and she needs a human subject. Once Manchester gets the information he needs from that officer, he goes to kill him. This was a good episode. I actually liked it. The dragon was cool. I like how everybody was gearing up for a war and they're getting ready to fight. That was pretty dope. I'm hoping for more in the next episode. I want to see what Lena's going to do, but she's trying to make a superhuman because that really intrigues me. I like the idea of metas, but the idea of actually creating a meta and knowing what result you're going to get is pretty dope too. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for tuning in. See tunes. Out.